YouTube, what's good? It's Backyard Blends, and today I'm gonna teach you guys or show you guys the steps I take to achieve a high taper with enhancements plus a little design in the back. Don't flame me on the design, it's my first time doing it, so uh, let's get to it. Okay, so my client doesn't wanna wave anymore and really wants to grow his hair out. So what we're gonna do is cut the hair to a two guard closed or open. That way he just starts fresh and it's all even. That way we can uh, really prep our canvas and then set him up for the future. Okay, so to start off this haircut, we're gonna set in our bald guideline with our skeleton FX's, making sure we bald out underneath, not leaving no type of stubble. That way we can set ourselves up for the next step. Now I'm gonna grab my gold babyless FX's, open up that lever and go up about an inch to a half an inch, creating a nice clean panel. Now to blend out this panel, we're gonna close our lever and we're gonna open it notch by notch every quarter inch we go up until the blade is fully open. We really want to emphasize creating gradiency within this panel and especially going from bald to lever open because that's one of the most important parts of the fade. When it's choppy, you notice it right away no matter how blurry the top portion of your fade is. Now we're going to throw in our one guard open, go up about another inch as we start transitioning to the upper portion of our fade. Now we're gonna close that lever and soften up that bottom line to make it easier for our next step, which is the half guard. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my wall half guard, start from close to open, and really just focus on using my corners and being disciplined with taking out that bottom line. Now remember, we, we cut down the hair with a two guard with the grain, but now we're going against the grain to debulk. So make sure you guys aren't taking this step too high. You really have to be disciplined right here. Now we're going to take our half guard using our corners and connect the one guard open to that two guard closed. And as you guys see right here, it's looking, it's starting to look blurry, but we have to detail. So we'll come behind that with our one guard using our corners and really just focusing on those dark spots. Make sure you use your mirrors, use your phone. It's going to show you a different perspective on the fade. For lineup prep around the ear, I like to start with the lever open and debulk, then close it and hit the very tips, almost creating like a slight tapered effect. Now right here, I came in and set my guy new with my clippers, just to show you guys, like there's no one way to do a fade. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different systems, all to just achieve the same buttery look. So don't be discouraged, you guys. You don't have to do everything you see in this video, video, sorry, to the T, you know what I'm saying? Put your own spin on it and learn what works best for you. I'm a firm believer in trying everything to see what you're good at. Don't just say it, stay at one thing and practice and practice and practice and it's not getting better. You know, if you need to learn, especially as a beginner, keep switching it up. Now, hopefully you guys are paying attention. Right now, we're blending out this panel starting from open to closed. You can go from closed to open. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. There are no rules. Just do what works best for you. Now, just like the side taper, we're gonna open up that lever, throw on that one guard, and go about an inch to a half an inch. Really just focused on being disciplined with our cutting stroke and creating a nice clean panel. And now we're gonna close that one guard and soften up that bottom line for our next step. Okay, so you guys should be able to see right there on that right side, his hair is growing towards the right. So in order to get it even cut and to get that line Blend it out, we need to go against the grain, which would be going to the left. Now, that bottom line didn't come out as good as I wanted it to, but that's okay. I was taking too much time on it, so we got to move on. We're going to go two guard close to the bulk, and if you guessed it, rice, rice. If you guessed it right, we're going to take that one and a half guard and bleed into that section, bleed into that two guard to basically create our transition. After that, we're going to apply some holding spray to the nape area for the lineup. And I did make a mistake, you guys. I want to show you. As a beginner barber, you know, I'm still learning. My, my clippers are hitting too hard and my client's skin is too sensitive. So it really inflamed that area. But to help with that, I applied some 245 aloe gel or shaving cream to just help with that inflamed area before I moved on. That way my client didn't have too much discomfort. And I apologized to him after he understood, he knows. So I mean, you know, it's all good.
So my client has a challenging hairline and I think the best way to combat this is by starting with the vertical bars first. This is just gonna basically like frame out your work and it's really as simple as just going from the middle to the right side and the middle to the left to meet that corner that you made from doing the vertical bar. So as you guys see right here, you know I'm just starting kind of like off center to the left a little bit and I'm just walking myself over to that corner trying to create a 90 degree angle meeting where I had made that uh, vertical bar at. So I know I'm probably gonna get flamed in these comments, that's all right. It's only my third time doing a design, so you know, I I can, you know, I, you know, I can cut myself some slack, but I traced it out with the magic pencil. Then I, you know, I just started going to work and putting it in. You know, I wasn't really happy with it, but my client wasn't too harsh on me. So, um, you know, it all worked out, it all worked out. Now, when you use enhancements, you wanna make sure you're spraying at the card and the overspray is what stains the skin. And if you guys see right here, I'm kind of like flicking off. That's just to help me blend into the other hair. Now after that, we're gonna come behind that and double up with hair fibers to give it more of a natural look. You know, sometimes these liquid enhancements can come off shiny on the skin, so we don't really want that. We're gonna hit that with some holding spray, line it up again, and I mean, that thing looks pretty blurry to me. Detail, detail, detail. If you guys do not want to be the average barber, you have to learn how to detail because it's a skill and it's something you acquire. I love to use my razor comb. I love the point cut. I'll use my thinning shears. Use your mirrors, take your time. You don't need to be in a rush. I'm in my duffel. I'm happy to show you guys my barber journey as I progress. But without further ado, this is the cut. High taper, enhancements, with a design, my client's skin isn't irritated, and you know for a third time doing a design, that doesn't look too bad, but there's always room for progress. Follow me at underscore the last backyard again too on Instagram. Like and subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.